We can't leave quite yet. We need to track down the Rothschild and get the Vault 87 location. That's the last thing we need to do and then we're off. Where the hell is he here? Welcome. Hail. Ah, you're back. You need something else now. Yes. Vault 87 has a gig, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. You couldn't just show me on the big boy. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. So... There's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Don't you know? No, I'm afraid not. After initial attempts to cross the radiation failed, it was decided to focus our efforts elsewhere. You, however, are free to do as you choose. More exploration may be useful, and I'll certainly be interested in anything you might find. Thanks for the help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Okay, 101, 106, 87, 108, 92. Just recorded my... Oh, of course it isn't. Shit. Yes, it is. Thank God. Huh. There we are our way to RF2. One wall. Yeah, and here, Vault 92, old. Something, something, old 108. Hmm. <laughs> I think we'll do the finish up the Wasteland Survival Guide. That's been there for a long, long time now. And I think we're ready for it. No no travel required, just go. This is the final part of the Moira Wasteland Survival Guide quest line.
A robot on a toilet. Hilarious. What was the mission again? Install the processor widget in the Rockco production facility mainframe. We needed to find out ways all tech can be used to help it with survival. That was our goal, and there is an optional quest of some kind. We will do the optional quest no matter what. If we can't do it for some reason, we'll this whole thing will be put on hold. We've completed all the other ones so far, so I'm not going to let the last one fail for any reason. For all I know, there's some... There's some kind of special reward for Kim completing them all, so I'm not taking chances. Pre-war books, I forgot about those. I think we should go for the goal immediately. Try to avoid every contact. Mm, I'll even use a uh, stealth boy to achieve that. Because we could activate the robots after that. Namely, kill everything here. Go. Jump, you piece of crap. Not a dent, lovely. Arch. Somewhere here is our goal. I don't think it's quite here. We need to reach our upper, upper level.
Where the hell is that? What the hell is that? Apparently something on this map, but... Production facility mainframe. It's clearly not that. It should be here. I'm not quite here, but... Yeah, there has to be, uh... Some other level to this. It's... Uh, where would be... Uh, I... Been pretty much everywhere, and I don't notice anything. It should go away. So, what the hell is the extra mission we need to do here? Purified water. Put a lab coat on. Let's get a little bit of ex extra science. The processor widget looks like it should fit neatly into this mainframe. Okay, install the processor widget. Yeah, now they're active, but I think we need to something more honorable worshiper Okay. 
What can we do? Okay, orientation guide. Congratulations on your transferal to the position of robot protocol operator. Your trusted co-workers will be standard will be the standard protectron model stationed throughout the facility. Basic operation covers the day-to-day -day functionality of your co-workers as described in detail in your training manual. Pest extermination encourages your co-workers to track and sanitize any roaches, rodents, and other undesired pests. Total liquidation removes your co-workers' humanoid safety protocols and is for use only in the unlikely event of criminal intrusion or communist attack. Robot shutdown allows you to temporarily retire your co-workers for their regular maintenance or in the case of accidental liquidation commands. We trust you'll find the work simple, rewarding, and extremely safe. Enjoy. Um, see subtle liquidation. Initiate. Initiate pex, pest extermination. Okay, this was the optional quest. Area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. They should be able to take care of uh, mold rats and step into the rat roaches. Step into the open and identify yourself. Citizens have hostile to target identified. Do not be alarmed. Law and order will be restored shortly. Protectrons really are weak. I think they have something like a laser pistol and arm. Armoring is non existent. This should be a decent place to find some parts we're looking for. Maybe not. We certainly can get parts, but will not be tolerated firing weapons. Yeah. We can find parts, but not quite the ones we are looking for. Citizens have nothing to. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens stuck. have I'm nothing stuck. to. Shit. Please step into the open and identify. Ready? Yeah. Move along, please. Mm, so this was simple enough. 
I thought this might have been a uh, proper difficult one, but no. Well, it's a uh, quest chain you get from the first city you enter, so... Not a lot of combat prowess required to finish this. Actually, zero if you are careful enough. Ah, anything interesting. Ammunition for weapons we are unlikely to ever use. What the hell do they keep shooting at? A roaches and mole rats, Move they don't along, please. They are not going to take consecutive laser hits too well. I can only think there's someone stuck somewhere and they can't really get a firing uh, line fire on them. Yeah, it sounds like there's a turret here, I was about to say. I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. John Henry Eden builds a country. Builds it to last. The American wake. Don't you, my darling America, sir. I want to waste electricity. Move along, please. Okay, we got a skill book out of this for energy weapons. Hmm, we got nothing, I suppose. Move along, please. Still pretty weak. Bombs. Move along, please. More turrets. Now we didn't explore the factory floor yet. We there was something there. You could call a quantum. Move along, please. Uh, I think the few locations of Nuka Cola Quantum we have are the locations where you can are guaranteed to get a few uh, a decent number of them, uh, but there's also a, a random chance that a vending machine can have them. Matchbox. Anything else? Along, please. Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Please. Now we need steam gauge. Gauge assemblies. Thank you. Huh. Well, this was a much well more welcome find than anything else so far. Along, please. Now I'll take a quick look. Ooh, yeah. Need to take a quick look around, otherwise something valuable might be missed. Looks like about shotgun shells, minigun ammunition, assault rifle ammunition. Yeah, nothing, nothing really valuable. A lot of uh, low-grade crap.
<sighs> Move along, please. Yeah, I'm pretty much lost. We'll be leaving. Hmm. But I haven't been here. So for it. Move along, please. Medicine skills. So yeah, it was an okay place. Nothing amazing, but still. Skill skills, useful items, ammunition. Little things, but useful things. Factory floor. Move along, please. Do not stop. <coughs> Target identified. A lawful use of the deadly force is in progress. Citizens are advised to clear the area. Roach murder. Whole experience point. I do like quite a bit the weapon design in this game in general, especially on the later weapons. They don't look like they're typical blaster weapons, they look like uh, a very different, distinct look to the whole later line. They're not barrel shaped because there's no barrel to have. Just a, just a casing for the laser mechanic, laser system. Probably no moving parts at all. I'm not quite sure what kind of noise would be appropriate for a laser pistol like this. Or rifle. I feel it's a bit too much like a uh, standard weapon noise, but it's not something that bothers me at all. Need fission battery. Steam gauge assembly. Huh. Rubber jump suit. What's a rope coat? Yeah, we don't need that. Ah, <sighs> with a single fission battery. We could make another railway platform.
Epic Book of Science. Uh, getting better and better. And uh, reward book. Ooh, crutches. Assembly, battery, battery. Messenger module. Pressure, pressure cooker. Okay, we would have a few railway rifles now. Yeah, you're gonna be our new weapon number five. Not all that powerful. Still like it. Mm. This might be a one weapon that it's worth your while to sh Move aim at. Along, please. Intentionally aim at the limbs most of the time. Move along, please. Limbs other than the head. Correct. I do like the active turret warning sound. It, it's clearly not enough to be an actual warning sound that the turret is operating. But it's still enough that a player that's paying attention can realize that he's, he's going to end up in trouble if he, doesn't, if he carelessly proceeds forward. Uh, anything else? Yeah, lying congressional style. So, more skills. Yes, probably about 10 skill points already. Something? In very one megata, one megaton quest uh, quest line permanently. This has been a long one. We'll probably get a decent XP bonus from completing it. Mm, I think we need a uh, lunch boxes. We would. And we'll take the pre-war books too. Hmm. Crutches. Action battery. Cherry bomb. Only one. It's only one launch box. Only one sensor module. I'm thinking of getting rid of either the Chinese assault rifle or the combat shotgun. Since we have the railway rifle now. I can't always just add a new weapon and add a new weapon, it's already starting to be a, somewhat of a bother. Ah. Uh. 
Madam, may I suggest you see? It's midnight, so about eight hours of rest should do it. No, one hour of sleep. Are going well for you today, madam. One hour of sleep should do it. Another lesson of life. If you're seriously injured in the wasteland, you just and feel tired, just find some place to lie down and close your eyes. Nothing that's it. By the time you wake up you'll be in full health. You certainly are not gonna die out of pot loss or something. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Hmm. I reactivated the robots and was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing! Tell me all about how it worked out! Even after reprogramming, the robots were of questionable value as allies. Well, they're only human. Or, uh, well, made by humans. Well, probably manufactured by other robots, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Seems like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. <laughs> Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Five pulse grenades and a big book of science. Yeah, research for the book is completed, isn't it? Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Mm, it certainly was an epic piece of work, so is the final product worth it? Oh my! It's, it's brilliant! Even I'm astounded by my genius! Oh, no, 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 it's more than that! By our genius! I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide! But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you! It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. As a result of your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. Like what? There's no survival skill. See ya! Yeah, it wasn't all that valuable as a uh, source of experience. Hmm. Maybe we got a perk. Survival Guru. You gain a 6% bonus to poison resistance and radiation resistance and 6 points to both medicine and science. So that was worth it. Science. Medicine. Yeah, we... Science is very high. Very, very, very high. Uh, and... That's it. So at least we can... Close that chapter of this... Of this game. Now that I think about it, our yeah, we need to go to Paradise Falls while we still have karma of questionable level. So 
Falls 106, our way through Paradise Falls. Um, I'm going to try to rush to Paradise Falls book first because uh, if I do a lot of quests, uh, the karma might take up. Uh, Take a change into the positive side again. So yeah, it might not make a difference, but we'll see. At least I want to make the effort to see how they react. 